<sighs> hey, did you uh, take Springfield Road in today? Yeah, Wilmont to Springfield, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if this guy, I think he's new, but you see the dude <laughs> by the thing. Oh, the crazy the... guy? He's got like long curly hair on a sandwich board? Yeah. Which yeah. Is, like, <laughs> it's the end of the world, whatever. No, yeah. the end, end, is, end is nigh or near or something? Yeah, it's uh, all, all the crazy folks are coming out, right? But it really, For I mean, sure. these, are, these, are, these are dark times, right? It really makes you think. Yeah. About that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? Ah! Uh, All right, guys, here we're going to talk about the movie End of Days. Nineteen ninety nine's End of Days. Lee, had you seen it before? Yes. I would be very surprised had you not seen this one before. Right, exactly. Got our boy Arnold. Yeah. Got Pollock in there. I love Kevin Pollock. He's pretty great. He's pretty great. He's pretty great in this. Uh, Gabriel Byrne, uh, Robin Tunney, Tooney, the uh, chick from The Craft. Yes. Right? Good, uh, solid uh, roster here. Half the time, if I think of, of the devil, I, I think of Byrne here. Cause, like, and it's... is the other half Al Pacino? <laughs> <laughs> the other or... half is like a cartoonish one, almost like South Parkian. Okay. <laughs> per perfect. <laughs> yeah. But no, this movie, like, you know, came out at, like, like the right time. Uh, you know, like, yeah. Y2K was a scary thing. Uh, you know, you already had that going into it, and the idea There's, that some devil satan yeah. shit was happening, Pro it all made sense. Prophecies and biblical things, even, all types of shit's happening. The year 2000 is the end of everything, yeah. right? And let's go to the movies. Um, I love this film. And I was worried that it was not going to hold up. I haven't uh, seen it, I think, in 20 years or whatever. Yeah, I, I think and, I've only uh, seen this once, like, yeah. when it came out. I don't remember and if like, I thought it theatrically or not. but Usually, my memories of movies, I'll, like, remember a few things from the plot and, mm -hmm. like, my general sense of it. And then separately, I will, like, remember either, like, high-fiving people I know and, like, fist-pumping, like, we all love this movie. Or, like, getting in weird arguments and, like, to trying to defend it and feeling like shit. And this was the latter, where, like, people uh -huh. did not like this movie. And I was like... Is it bad? Am I wrong? I don't know. And that was my vague sense going into it. So I was very like, oh no, is it going to be good? Maybe I'm an idiot. And uh, I thought, I, I think it holds up and I, and I like it a lot. I, I think <laughs> it, it is a fun ride for most of the movie. There's yeah. a particular part that I really dislike and, and, I, and it was the only thing that I, I really remembered. Okay. Um, like like the general A to B, I remember the movie. But yeah. like a lot of that stuff, I was like, wait, what? Oh, oh yeah, that thing. Cool. Like, right. like it's this. been, you know, 20 years. So it, it's Fuck. enough time to forget some things. So old. But no, this, this is a fun movie. I would recommend checking it out. Really, yeah. I'd kind of say that for any Arnold movie. <laughs> like well, there's yeah, not and... even the bad ones. Like I almost recommend those more. We'll, we will get more into the details of this, but Indeed. this is at a weird, part, you know, you know, point in his career. I feel like it, it, it was like smart to, to, you know, to cast him here. But I can see why people would, you know, would have been disappointed in the year 1999. Mm. They're like, this is not Terminator. I don't like this or something. I think they got him uh, really cheap for this. Maybe right. I, I, he I don't had know the... the last thing he did was Batman Beyond. Uh, not Batman. Uh, Batman and Robin. Ba Batman and Robin with yeah. Mr. Freeze, and then he had a heart attack or something, right? What? So I think like. There was something where he didn't I do a movie for a while. Attack. Come on, I need heart attack money <laughs> <laughs> for my pills. <laughs> I, I think it was yeah. more that no one wanted to hire an action hero that potentially couldn't do action stuff. Oh, interesting. I, so I thought he was like, because if you look at like the '90s, he does Junior, uh -huh. but, he, but he also does Eraser. He does all these. Uh -huh. So like he, he's kind of running the gamut. And, and I just assumed like I, you know, I don't want to be typecast. I want to, you know, do mm. you know, do different stuff. Chill out. And he's doing all his things. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Well, like, Batman was a payday. I think he thing. got paid like millions of dollars yeah. to be in a movie for like three minutes. <laughs> But First, no, so uh, yes. this is this is something we, we, we recommend you check it out. Yes. If you've seen it or don't care, falls over spoilers. And if not, pull out now. If you need a place to rent content, you better listen. We're Cannibal Video and we eat the competition. All right, guys, here we are for the spoilers of End of Days. I hate the fucking ending. Ah! No! You hate the ending. The ending is so fucking stupid. So aside from the fact that it's anything with time, this is really great, by the way, because I was like, ah, how do I get him to reveal like like what he hates so that it's not just lingering and lurking around the whole the whole review. So the whole premise of the movie is like it, it, this. Uh, what are they like a, a, a Georgian calendar or whatever? Uh, Gregorian. Gregorian calendar, uh, which like is allegedly set up so that it, it would it would be there to coincide with exactly two thousand years from then would I, be when the devil would be rising. Again. I like this detail because a lot of times because that's them lampshading like. Well, just because it has a lot of zeros in it, why would that matter to, like, the devil? And it's like, no, no, no. We invented this calendar working backwards mm -hmm. from... And you're like, oh, okay, that, that's an actual explanation. I do like when things change 
tell, like, you know, like, oh, that, that, that's changing actual history. It's not just because, you know, King George was the king then, and, yeah, that, yeah, they, yeah. and that's when they invented this whatever, because right. Easter was slipping away slowly because there were too many days in the year. No, 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 the devil. Yes. And you're like, oh, okay. So, like, that's cool. Answer. That's fine. That's not the problem I have. But I know, it's, I know. it's the it's I, the time zone we're, bullshit. We're just doing all these pit stops yes. along the way to what So, like, you have this yes. thing where it's like, okay, at midnight, uh, Greenwich Mean Time, obviously. Like, you're like okay, uh, okay, this is going to happen. Uh, and, and, like, if it actually is, as they make you believe, so when the ball is dropping, that is the time, and he has to have impregnated this girl by then. Yeah. He had, like, two minutes left when, like, like when, when shit hadn't even really hit the fan yet. And I'm like, all right, two minutes. It'll take you, like, 12 seconds, Ripper calls off, and then, like, the guy's got to finish real quick if this is going to happen. I was going to say. So, like, yeah. But by the time it actually came down to it, there was, like, three seconds left, and he's like, I will kill myself! And, and like, I, I get the poetic nature of the movie starts with him, like, going to kill himself. And it yeah. ends with him killing himself to save, like, humanity. And I'm like, okay, that's, on paper, I guess that's good. But when you see the pan out of the reality, where, like, the movie was totally fine. The, like, no one was getting impregnated in that uh. one second worth of time. Like, he couldn't even zip his fly down and walk to her in that seconds that he had left. But he throws himself on a sword and dies, which is the foreshadowing of that sword was so fucking hardcore. Hey, he looks like, look, him. a sword! Hey, a sword! And he looks at it again. You're like, stop looking at that sword! I'm never gonna die by it. God. Okay. <sighs> I'm glad you. I'm. I'm glad you're able to, to to get that out of your system. And did you like that now, part? So, I don't like like you know hearing you describe it. I'm like, wow. Like, what do you mean? I I was really busy concentrating on like everything else. I didn't care about that part at all. That yeah. to me was so bad. It wiped the slate of all the good stuff that came before it. Oh, you're a crazy person. Okay. The only thing I think uh, yeah. I, I I also didn't like, but not a deal breaker, is yeah. is when Kevin Pollak like uh, like like you know betrays him, and then then yeah. and then like decides not to betray him any longer. I was like, eh, pick a lane. <laughs> like if you're oh, gonna no, if you're gonna come yeah. back around on him, like at least take some shots at the devil. Don't just be like, okay, run. Oh. I'm like, you're still surrounded by devil worshippers. Yeah. Like it wasn't this thing where it would be easy to get away in the first place. I think it's okay that he does that. I, I didn't like how he how he just sets him on fire in in real life. I thought uh -huh. I thought that meant like he went to hell and was on fire, and then he like did the bargain that way or whatever. So I was a little yeah. Like, I thought it was a little no, sus. yeah, a little on the nose. But, like yes, you were just outside the van. You were caught on fire. He yeah. stopped you and saved you. Right. There's well, a really like, well, and then he just touches him and lights him on fire again to like yeah. resume the I guess the being the firebomb. But it was still like wait no that isn't the that I thought I thought that was a metaphor. I didn't realize he was just going to be literal. on fire like in front of Arnold Schwarzenegger. thing. I thought he was going to like go into hell or something like yeah, that. Yeah, just poof out of existence yeah. would have been a little better. And go back. Th there's the, a great comment the some moron had. Thing. I forget if it was on Amazon or IMDb, but they were like they're like. Now, Kevin Pollack made a deal with the devil uh, to not be on fire uh, anymore. That's binding. But his clothing didn't make any deal. His clothes should have been singed. And I was like, he's the fucking devil, you asshole. This is your problem. Well, he can he, do anything. And he makes it fairly clear that he's not holding to, like, his word. No. Or whatever. And why would he? That's the whole, that, that's the whole thing here. Yeah. Right? And, and yes. I, I believe everything he does. Thank God. I should he has this great yes. like I am the fucking devil. Well, he's him. great. Like I'd forgotten like a like a lot of these beats, and like we're not gonna go through them all just for various reasons. But I have a whole section of my notes that are like devil shit. <laughs> and it's just all the different stuff he does. His lines, the way he's like delivery, the way he's like 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 taking drags off cigarettes. He's he's so cool in this movie. But it all begins when he gets possessed in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Comes out, makes out with a chick, and like, I, I think that's that's that chick's That's the husband. other guy's yeah. wife, yeah. And he grabs her tit out but, in the restaurant. But, but the chick's husband is like, what are you doing? And then Gabriel Byrne just looks at him and like yeah. shuts him up with this look of this like crazy look. And then you know walks out, and the, the whole building cucks daggers into his no, face. No, but like so, but and like, but 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 that guy's like, I guess I can't do anything. Like he's just like sure. done, and it's crazy. And then, and then as, he kills them all. And then as he's walking out, the chick like can't take her eyes off of him. Still, like, there's so many details in this beginning scene that just sets yeah. the stage for this awesome devil. And I should say because I haven't had a chance to say it yet, I love the battle between heaven and hell. <laughs> like I'm not religious. The concept. Yes, <clears throat> I'm. I'm not religious at all. So this is just like kind of like badass like mythology to me or whatever but I I like love this in movies I love Constantine I love yeah. I love prophecy I love
love the other one. Uh, the, 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 whatever. Constantine coming Everything. back is going to be pretty great. I love all that stuff so much. I always love to see it in like a movie and like played out like this. And this, like, oh, Devil's Advocate was the other one because I'm because mm -hmm. like Al Pacino to me was always the devil. Um, and I and, and I'd forgotten a lot of Gabriel Byrne's stuff here, but I think he was also really good. And I thought like uh, like. You know, that's kind of how I'm judging. Is like, okay. you know, like, like the benchmark like, of success is those, like those two roles. Well, well, like, can you stand up to whatever? And and I, and I would put this up with Devil's Advocate. I would I would put this up with Constantine and like certain other movies. I'm like, yeah. I think sans that ending, I, I think that just takes so much out just of just ignore that 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 part. I, I really can't. Like they I, I really like can. they put that in there to make it more like dramatic for people to act like oh they you know it was just barely gonna be the thing or something right had you just like, tracked uh, the time on that yeah a few minutes before like instead yeah. of trying to make it so like oh look at that and the, it drops as he dies and goes into heaven and this is the bullshit out. if yeah. you would have made it like a few minutes before like he had ten minutes I'm like oh that yeah. would have been an appropriate amount of time no, this no. could have happened I think kill you, yourself I think you like resent uh, what they tried to do to you there or whatever yeah because they were it, trying to get too much credit. And yeah, just well, fucked up. But I think for the average audience member, it feels more dramatic if you know if they realize like, oh, like it, like it was all just about to happen or something like that. I, I don't, don't know. know why why the nick of time in situations like this is yeah. any more perilous. Like no. if, should, if you it, if you it, save the day with a day be. in advance, I'd be like that was pretty close considering yeah. humanity would come to an end. No, like but people <laughs> don't like function like that. I know. So it's, I see it's why sad. they did that. And I totally just like like I was so high off of the. Okay, so like the ending part, the part that I like about the ending a lot uh -huh. is. Arnold's performance, and I want to talk yeah, about Arnold's not bad. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold's not bad. Um, like this is one of the only like I'd forgotten about his performance in this. Mm -hmm. He he looks lean and grizzled. They relax me. You want one? Oh, no, thanks. A drink. He's got a whole thing going on. Fresh off and, that heart uh, surgery, I guess, right? But like, I didn't know that detail. That uh, that really like like uh, throws something in there for me now. But like, no, this is one of the only times uh, that I thought of him as just an actor with an accent, as okay. opposed to this like wall of meat that just like says words. And and it's like, oh, it's always kind of a joke. Like, oh yeah, look, it's a cop, whatever. <laughs> like yeah, you're not yeah, a cop, yeah. you're just Arnold Schwarzenegger. But like this, I was like, no, this like felt like good and real to me. And and when he's possessed, it's not perfect. He still does some of his like. Uh, it looks like when he's on uh, Mars in Total Recall. <laughs> he's like, yeah! Doing his yeah. stuff. He's still Arnolding a little, but I thought like like in between that, his delivery and, and his face and stuff, I'm like, this dude's acting. This is great. I was really pleasantly surprised. The attempts at humor though with like his milkshake in the morning, I was like, what are you doing? Take that out yeah. of the movie. That does nothing for anybody. Oh, no. no one's like like slapping their knee and laughing at that. They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Oh, I'm good. If anything, you're just like, what the fuck? Like, I guess you're trying to display this man's a disgusting human being that can yeah, do anything, but a mess. It, it doesn't come across. It, it just feels like this weird reach to me. We're like, okay. that's an un, like, that's not a real person. Like, no, yeah. no one's like, all right, I take, I take like three day old Chinese food, a piece of pizza, a coffee, some booze, <laughs> yeah, and Pepto Bismol. Yeah. Like, no one does that. I thought you were going to be like, oh, I had Pepto in it. It's probably delicious. Pepto, <laughs> it would have been ruined by the coffee. <laughs> It all would have counterbalanced just to be this disgusting thing, especially like, if you're going to work. Who would take this weird, like, gut bomb? <laughs> no, but because that, that, that's, that's the, like, like, this to me is like an anime or, or like some weird thing, and it's like getting across. But does he crack eggs into it, too? Did I make that he up? He might. He might. Now there's an egg, a raw egg that we put in there. Well, actually, I like to put in the whole egg. It's this, no, like, like it's crazy, but I enjoy it on the level that you might enjoy, like, a horror movie doing something really cliche, where it's like, mm -hmm. of, of course, we have to have this scene or whatever. Had you, Ted, had had you had him take, yeah. like, 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 oh, there's just Chinese food, like, from days ago on a plate, and, like, he, like, smacks a roach off it and then eats it, I would have been like, yes, that's the character. Yeah. Like, like, he pulled, like, like, a butt of a cigar out of it, lit it, like, and he like, smoked, ah. like, yes, okay, that's, that's our, that's it's our a roach goes, Pew! Yeah, yeah. Uh, and like where he works, they're like, like, <laughs> like bodyguards to the stars or something, and he just walks in there and takes like all the heavy armament. <laughs> there's no like sign out process. There's no, there's okay. nothing. He takes heavy armament. He takes guns. He takes bazookas. And, and like like leverages the fact that, that that they can trace Kevin Pollock's like company car or whatever, yeah. right? They put that in there, so that can be a whole thing. No, it, it's because he's the fucking best. 
And like, and they're like, no, we have to let this crazy man take all these guns. Um, I like that though, in a way, because he's suiting up to like go to war in like mm-hmm. the traditional sense. Sure. But he ends up winning uh, in like a non-traditional sense. You have that goofy thing at the end where he like he's looking at Jesus and he's looking around. He throws his gun down. He's like, oh, like that's not how I win here. And yeah. I feel like I feel like that is why a lot of people. This is rocking an eleven percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Which I think it's because that ending. I think it's a ama- <laughs> no. I don't. I, I would like. I, doubt anyone I would love else, if, uh, if, if like all the comments. Ends. Fuck that ending. Piece of shit ending. What a fucking ending. I think most people were like, "This is not an action movie." He wins yeah, by like believing hard enough. Like what the fuck? This is honestly one you know one of like the better like like a, like a god propaganda you know films. Yeah. This is much better than those like Kirk Cameron or Kevin oh, Sorbo or whatever those movies. Like, I, I love the, the like the part of there's like the faction of like the knights of whatever with yeah. their like necklaces and shit and I'm like like yes the idea of killing this this girl yeah. because there doesn't seem like there's an upswing here it, like aside from just like it's a sin to kill uh, it's not like yeah. oh she's either gonna birth the next Christ or the Antichrist she's only a vessel of evil it seems well there's a, there, there's a, there's like a, a a a ticking clock too so they can yeah. say and like the one guy says well you can't fight evil by doing evil so maybe there is some gotcha that's gonna happen or something maybe so I don't know yeah point unclear but in those situations like usually it's, it's easier to end the game we are preventing the end of days but you can't prevent evil by doing evil there's no time no! the only way and they try to which is awesome yeah, yeah. and you've got this nice thing where like arnold arnold and kevin don't know that they're like the the good guys right they have to yeah, do that yeah. whole thing yeah their their whole buddy cop relationship is funny to me too. Because yeah, there's not. well, Kevin Pollock is this kind of guy where like he can play a number of roles yes. very convincingly because he's a fucking actor. Uh, <laughs> like go figure. But like your yes. problem with Arnold is like like uh, while Arnold acts, Ar- I wouldn't say Arnold is, is an actor in a traditional not, sense. Yeah. I'm not Ar- trying to give him that much credit. I'm just saying, <clears throat> but but yeah. Kevin, like you're like yes, I can believe you are this this like you know yeah. uh, Blackwater mercenary, and then I can also believe you're just like you know random like store clerk, like like you yeah, have this yeah, great yeah. role where you can jump around, uh, and occasionally Christopher Walken, <laughs> like like yeah, no, he he he's playing the uh, Tom Arnold role, like he's yeah. he's in the he's in the van, cracking wise and doing his thing. He looks so small next to Arnold well, too, which really very, helps. Very yeah, small. it's like the police may want that at some point. They call it evidence. I like to get a head start. A reason to make it easy for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's like it's like what is his name? Chicago. Yeah, his dumb name. A weird name. A lot yeah. of dumb names in this. Very. Jericho. <laughs> his name is like Jericho Kane, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like what? Yeah, you gotta my, get as Bible-y as you can. My name is Bible Christman. <laughs> like what the fuck? Well, it's official. I'm never sleeping again, ever. You okay? A weird point was the beginning bit where like they're like ah I see the meteor or whatever and that oh, yeah, that yeah. signifies that we yeah, know exactly. that the baby is going to be born tonight. Yeah. Now they know that in the world the baby's being born and he's like he's like send out your emissaries we must find the baby. Yeah. And I was like how many emissaries must he have? That's crazy. Uh, and like there, there is a actual mark on the child, but I don't even know if the good guys know that because it didn't seem like uh, mm-hmm. like they had a lot of details here. But maybe they do. Regardless, no, but it is crazy. Do you know how many babies are born in the world a day? I looked it up. <laughs> Fifty thousand. Three hundred eighty-five thousand. Damn. <laughs> a day. No, and like those are my first two notes. If you go chronologically, mm-hmm. I wrote down. Are they sending people to every city? And then my second note is like, is Udo Kier in the basement of every hospital? Like, that, that was, that's what I jumped yes. out where I was, I was like, I was like so hey, crazy. Udo Kier, he, he's great. He's evil as fuck, just like off the jump. So I'm like, that's perfect. He doesn't have um, to act. He, has, he doesn't. <laughs> I'd yes. almost say he's not an actor. He's just picking his proper roles. He's just Udo Kier. But occasionally he's like in comedy roles and he's pretty great in those too. Okay. Uh, but, but my point being that like, is there a satanic like cult in every hospital in like the an, world? Like an expert? Because there were like seven people there yeah. ready to like chop up a snake and do some shit. And that's very strange. Or does Satan have the inside tip? Does he know where the baby's born? Oh, we don't go into point. that enough. No, that's a good point actually. You might have just saved it because I was maybe. like, oh, wait a minute. Maybe they had a, uh, you know, like a bead on it and they were able to like be like, it's happening Like maybe they knew here. With the vessel that was going to birth the vessel of the vessel they needed to birth through. Or they, they at least knew the zip code or something Maybe. so they could concentrate on it. But yeah, no, like it's crazy. Udo Kier then becomes her therapist. Take another Xanax to relieve your anxiety. You're fine. Trust me. 
and the the, the like, wet nurse becomes yeah. her like mother-in-law. She's an orphan. Both parents deceased after her mother died. The home nurse married the father. Now the nurse is the sole guardian. Her, her, double her stepmother. I like. And I was like, who's is... her father? That that worked out. Like, well, they killed. Oh, I don't know. Because they, they say, killed the parents. They yeah. say stepmother. I know. She's not. They correct, don't say right? that. That's what threw me. I was, I was like, like the is the dad mother. still in the picture? Because no, you're just no, the no. mom. If the parents are killed. Yes, she's the. That's yeah. Because they. And it's like bookended where someone says, your parents died. And it's like, I'm your stepmom. It's this weird thing. Yeah. Like, okay. J just to, that feels like an overcorrection of like, people don't understand who this bitch is. And you're like, all right, fuck, put something in the script. Yeah, I, I was, yeah. well, what's yeah. weird is because like, she has a very specific looking face. So when yes. she pops up again, you're like, is that the same bitch? <laughs> I'm your stepmother. It's my job to worry. No big deal, really. Just someone on the subway car turned into porcelain and shattered. What the fuck? <laughs> and then they explain it. Yeah, I had yeah. forgot that detail. Yeah. Uh, she also becomes She-Hulk at one point. Yes. I was like, I would have liked there to be something like she chants and like fucking symbols appear on her hands and she becomes stronger. Cause I love it so Other much. than that, I was like we, like, we don't really explain any of that, that she's like an acolyte of the devil. Uh, how did she get that? I'm pretty sure that it involves the devil. <laughs> oh, of, of course. <laughs> I love but that. Why, did, why yeah. weren't all like... Yeah. And how many Satan worshippers does he have? It seems Cops. like every cop, oh, every homeless person, he, no, no, everyone no. in the goddamn he city. He starts to like mind control people, basically. Or maybe those are all people that he brought back, like the cop. I don't know. Oh, maybe. But, they didn't, they didn't but, cover enough that I was but, like, okay. what is happening here? But the scene with the stepmom fight, I love uh -huh. shit like that so much in these movies. Well, because it's certainly um, unexpected. You don't, you don't, yes. you're, like, you're like, oh, what are you going to do, bitch? And then she like throws a piano. You're like, oh, shit. But it's so like um, grounded. It's like a weird a weird way to put it. Yeah, but she was this, never like bending pokers yeah. and well, stuff. And, and, and like to your point, I, I love shit like that too with glowing anime symbols and crucifixes uh -huh. and stuff. But I love the idea like Devil's Advocate does this too like a lot of these movies where it's just this thing that, that looks normal but it's not. Uh -huh. Like like when the car hits the guy in Constantine it's just like wrapped around yeah, him or yeah. something. Where it's like, wait, that's not how life works. What is this? And she just, she, she there's like a, a, there's a part where she roars and like does this and, 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 and it like slices through the wood would. Stop it! Let her go! No! Like she, like, like she, she, she doesn't have claws all of a no. sudden. Like I love shit like that so much. Maybe she has it's invisible claws thing. because she takes after invisible Satan. She went, ah, did this thing and just like, yeah, no, I love that so much because she throws it around Arnold like he's a rag doll. Yes. And he has a look on his face like, what the fuck? He's like, can't well, because no one, it. like, yeah, think, think of you, think of yourself it's in so his good. shoes. Yes. No one has ever done this to me before, <laughs> and you and are the, the one. And the first person is you, you little bitch. And yeah, a seventy-year-old lady. She's like four feet tall. It's great. Oh, yeah, I love that scene so much. Yeah. And then when the devil comes and is like, you fucked up, and like, takes yeah. it out. Oh my God, yeah. He, he ends people, when he, he punches through Udo Kier's head. Oh my head. God. The cr yeah. Crunching like a pumpkin? What, he, he crunches through someone's chest at one point, right? <laughs> That's so. That, so that's the goofy part for me is like the ending where like things get amped up. So like I like that uh, real quick. That Gabriel Byrne has this body that you know, like the devil has Gabriel Byrne's body and yeah. and is using it, and he can like uh, revive it or like regrow it. Mm -hmm. But at a certain point, it becomes like too much for him. So like shit's hanging off, and he's all goofy yeah. and stuff like that. But when he's outside the train and like his, his his hands pop up from the bottom and then there's a thing on the side, that's when he punches through the guy and like has his heart. Yeah. Oh, it's the conductor guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and, and the guy's like, uh-oh. Like he just makes like a dumb noise and I'm like, ah, oh, this is getting too goofy. A lot of that was like, here. Yes. It's, it's like, and I have a problem too when, when you're fighting the unbeatable enemy yeah. uh, and then somehow you always manage to just clutch escape. Like that can weigh on me where it's kind of like yeah. why I don't like Superman that much because like, well, he's fighting all people. It's not, it's not like, it's not fun. Like, our boy didn't have, like, some kryptonite cross. Like, mm. there was nothing that he could really do. It would have been cool if he had two crosses on his little, like, tunk -tunk, and, like, they pop out of the sides. <laughs> I, like, because you saw when he first loads those guns into those, like, taxi driver spring yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. You're like, you're like well, awesome. when's that going to happen? Oh, right now. Yeah, <laughs> and then yeah, he yeah. shoots those cops. When he's, like, hands behind your head, and he's like, come on, you know me. Don't do this. And it's, oh, it's, cool. it's so good. I love this movie so much. What's wrong? Nothing is wrong. Everything is the way it should be. Kevin Pollock is in that like priest's like like lair, I'll call it, and, and he just looks at this fridge from the 1950s and he's like, I could eat. No, oh, I could eat. Oh. Oh. Shit! <laughs> and he opens up and a cat jumps out. And he says something like, I knew, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> There's so many good lines like that. It's I so dumb. Eat. Oh. 
So like <laughs> we danced around it, but Kevin Pollock's line at the end there when he's like betraying Arnold and he's like, "Come on, what are you doing?" and he goes like, "Oh, you'd be surprised what you would agree, agree to when you're on fire." Right? That that line where I'm like, "Yes, that's true. That's awesome." Let it go, Jer. Uh, don't look at me like that. You'd be amazed what you agree to when you're on fire. Because that, like, you know, and, and that to me tells the story of all the acolytes, perhaps. Because a lot of them freak out and, like, run away, which, like, real acolytes wouldn't do and brainwashed people wouldn't do, right? <laughs> This uh, is like this is the main event, right? So I think Gabriel Byrne, because like Arnold Schwarzenegger gets beaten up by like a, just like a random gang of street people at, at one point. Reminds me of like, I think like it's just, uh, yeah. Dogma when like those like street hockey players like, oh, it's getting <laughs> aggressive. Yes. And then they hang him up Jesus style, yeah. but but like the nice way without actually piercing any parts of his body. All right, because that would, because that would have ruined the movie. Yeah. Honestly, him being able to function at all after a beating like that. Yeah. You're like, okay, uh, I don't know if you've ever been hit before. Like the power of Christ compels him. It would have been nice to have something like that too, though. Like where they could have done something. It, like maybe instead said, of him killing himself, maybe yeah. when he sees, he looks around. Like maybe like like he glows white or something, and then there's a bare knuckle fight with with like you know the power <laughs> of Christ. Not, but that's the opposite of. What but they were that's what to gets do. you better than eleven percent. Okay. Well, I <laughs> listen. Like you could have made this very hammy, and that's why I like it more than I would have because it has that uh, like fake out where mm -hmm. like because because he keeps escalating. He's like rocket launching Gabriel Byrne yeah. and shit. <laughs> But then it kind of like reins it in. He's like, "Oh wait, no, this this is not an action movie. This is a this is a battle between like him being possessed. Like, yeah. I get it. Yeah. Like, because especially like you know, if you've, you've destroyed this man's vessel and yeah. like he's got to do something, and you know that's some good. Uh, I almost said Aryan stock. What is he again? He's, oh my uh, god, Austrian. Austrian. <laughs> <laughs> Six of one, fifty fifty. But like. I think I would have liked something a little more powerful to me was like yeah. we're just like he's like looking at a clock like like you know okay we're like in a basketball game we're running down uh, and he just has to like hold him off for this much longer like yeah. he like takes the little bucket of holy water or puts it over his head and like he's just like uh, uh, he's holding him uh. and like fire is coming out <laughs> and like see two it's coming back to New York one no yeah, and, yeah, then, yeah. and maybe even he dies say, as from long, that as long as he gives his life in some way yeah. as long I, as it's yeah. not this wasted give my no, life like, I remember not not liking him impaling himself necessarily like, mm -hmm. you know like the way it plays out so I sure. I, I would agree with that um, you, you, you just reminded me of the awesome part the, where Gabriel Byrne goes into the, the church and uh -huh. like the whole thing is like shaking yeah. and then he says like I can withstand the, pow yes. the, the pain of being in the church how much pain can you bear and he starts taking people out. I can stand the pain of being in church. How much pain can you bear? Because like it's like the old vampire thing where uh, they go like this fills me with a, with immeasurable fear, right? But a sense of dread. Yeah, but they're like they're like kind of like dealing with it or studying mm -hmm. it or like. I and if anyone could take it, it, it it's him. It would be I like that he dad. can't see what's happening inside the church. Right. I think that's cool. But the fact that he can see everything else. Like he would know what church you're in at the very least. He might not know where in the, the church. The trail you would are. end right before the yeah, thing or something right? like that. Yeah, yeah. It's like that. I think is like a slight misstep. I don't know if you <clears> can <throat> just see the, what's currently happening or what's happening. But yes. it might be cool to see like uh, like like they're, oh in the catacombs of the church like that lead to other churches like we're playing a like, like fucking clamshell game. We're, we're it all counts as one big church because they're all connected. Yeah. Yes. Consecrated ground. Everyone out! Get them to a safe place. Get them out of here. <laughs> There's a couple of like special effects parts that are pretty cool here. Mm. Uh, I love the apple. Like that just looks crazy. <laughs> I don't know what like weird like the, what the um, fuck that shit is. Oh, there's there's a lot of weird stuff. Yeah, with, like the bodies in there because they're yes. maggots, but then they're those weird bodies. Yeah, yeah, and stuff. yeah. Like he's seeing that the souls in hell are crying out from like the apple, and I was like, I was like, is that more than just an apple? Is that like an Eve thing here? Like a hey, symbolism. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, and then like he's like, oh, I saw it too. Oh, no one's ever seen what I've seen. My God. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and like that albino dude from the beginning, I was unclear what him because he's was he clearly an albino? wasn't he albino? I don't know. I, I, I took weird, it as a... The weird dude who shatters, right? It was like a really a really white dude with blonde hair. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't albino. I thought he was. It doesn't matter for the point. But matter. like, you see him before the yeah. priest tries to kill the devil. So you're like, okay, I think you're real. <laughs> and then, yeah. then like, nobody sees him on the train car. He's gonna fuck you, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay... 
you're not real? Or are you a demon? Like, yeah. what are and, you? And, and they never explain it, but it's a crazy effect that is almost in there for no reason because it doesn't really add anything to the plot, like, kind of at wow. all, but it certainly took some money and time, and, yeah. and it's interesting looking. That's her getting tipped off that, like, something's happening. Yeah. But he you could have done like, that he's gonna in a lot of ways. Yeah. yeah, but that was, I mean... I forgot about that scene, so it was like shocking to me when he shatters like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I think the mistake is not having that guy be there later in some way. Yeah, something. that would have Because like, I was like, right. is he a good guy or a bad guy? I right. don't even know. Because he might just be like the other guy where he's crazy and he can see what's going to happen and is trying to do something, but yeah. doesn't like, yeah. And uh, do you have an explanation of like, how is that guy talking without his tongue? You said here the guy spoke to you. Yeah, so what? The guy doesn't have a tongue. What? Like, uh, I would have liked Magic something... Magic God stuff. Yeah, what do you mean? I would have liked something, uh, like, some weird, like, just throwaway It's line. mental telepathy. <clears throat> no, no, I would have liked them to, to throw in, like, like, oh, no, this is what talking in tongues really is. When you can talk with no tongue, the power of God carries your words. Like, some shit like that. Like, I like when they flip the script on stuff. I think that could have been fun. I like when, when something unexplainable just happens, and then the characters go, wait, what? And then we build this sense of dread up to an ultimate conclusion. Sometimes those things are good, <laughs> but sometimes like. they make me feel like mistakes are happening. Okay. Uh, and, and, and it's... On this one, I won't say that it was, it was clearly, like, I, I didn't get the yeah. sense of, like, oh, you'd like, but sometimes in movies, I'm like, no, I think just you had one writer working on something, and then he left the project, and someone else forgot that was in there or something. Yeah, I think it's a matter of the execution, right? Yeah, yeah. All this stuff, definitely. And this this was very, like, because a lot of the stuff was up in the air and not explainable, because especially at the time, you don't know what's happening. So it makes sense yeah. to not have this crazy thing. I, I love the one dude when the priest does get get like crucified to the ceiling oh, and he's yes. like, maybe he did it to himself. I'm telling you, no one entered the room. Maybe he did it himself. Then how did he get the last scalpel in? <laughs> what? There's, there's a few parts like that where someone says, maybe it's this. And then someone goes, no, you idiot. This can't be that. And he goes crazy like, oh, like how do you get the last scalpel in? Yeah, Arnold even yeah. dignifies it with yeah. the, how did he get the last scalpel? Yes. Yeah. Well, obviously uh, he stabbed it into his arm first, but didn't put it into the ceiling and, and then like, he slammed it up. God, first year here, well, idiots. That, that was the cop who Gabriel Byrne, like, uh, talks to, mm -hmm. right? When he gets there. It's yeah. The whole thing. I was yeah. unclear if he was sweet-talking him and, like, putting the worm into his head, yeah. or if he already... Because the, the, the exact thing he says is casing, but it was something like, like, the you're young, on the side of light or something like that. The young boys that you seduce have left their scent upon you. Sorry, pal, you can't come in here. <sighs> the young boys that you seduce have left their scent upon you. Yes. And he says, do not forget who you serve. That that line, and, the do not forget who you serve And the guy's thing. like, fuck, and just opens the door and lets him in. And I'm like, oh, shit. But the yes. don't forget who you serve thing, I was like, okay. Now, was was that him like, planting was, the seed? Like, was or was he literal? already like right. an acolyte of the devil? Because it seemed like he had a lot. But if all it takes is him to plant that little like, like, yeah. don't forget who you serve. And you go, I serve the devil. Like, I'm yeah, like, okay, I, that's fine, too. Right. I, I think he's a kid-touching cop. Who, oh, certainly. Uh, he who, loves kids. Who has evilness within him uh -huh. and is confronted by this force in the shape of Gabriel Byrne and then like gives into it because he has like a little fake moment where he's like okay no and like does it's, it right it's, it's weird because cool. it'd be yeah. one thing I feel like they put too much there it's, like one or the other I think would have been better like either blackmail him or mind control him but to like blackmail him and then put that little line of don't oh, I, start, like yeah I don't know if it's mind control necessarily flashback he starts to like mind control people basically end of flashback it, no it might yeah. not be but I think we have to believe at some point it is because of with yeah. how many he has. Is he is he going to everybody like oh, you didn't pay your cable bill? <laughs> you like you you covet yes. thy neighbor's wife and they're like all right we'll fight for you. Like yeah. it seems a little strange. Like I think there has to be something or there's actually a huge network of, of like Satan worshippers. Call your people, find them. Yeah, I would say more likely this is just like devil's having fun. He's freestyling. Sometimes he does this. Sometimes he does that. Whatever. Because when they go to that underground, thing. like, yeah. like Matrix-style rave place, yeah. there's, like, a million dudes, like, in robes and stuff. So I'm like... Oh, like, and you get the eyes sewn shut guy? Yeah. Who's, like... Uh, who's the guard? <laughs> but he... I, I love I love everything about this movie. Uh, because he says, you may pass, because... he smells the evil. He has, you know... Oh, you're, you're full of hatred. Go ahead. You have much hatred and vengeance in your heart. You may pass. Like, like that's you are a take. choir boy compared to me, huh? You want to fuck with me? You think you know bad, huh? You're a fucking choir boy compared to me. <laughs> oh, God, the fucking the showdown. This is the scenery-chewing Al Pacino moment when Gabriel Burns in his apartment mm -hmm. and stuff. He, he, he plays him the memories of his family dying. I would have liked more there. of that. Amy? Don't stay in there, 
too long, you'll turn into a prune. Emily. Come on, darling, it's time to get out. Like, I understand it was because he's a good cop and he, yeah. he turned in the bad cops and the blah, blah, blah. Like, I, I would have yeah. liked a couple more flashbacks to, okay. like, like, were those, like, were those the cops? Did they get, did he kill them after that? Like, like uh, you know. A lot of these things they don't tell us is, is, is because they, they do not matter. I like the I like the little details. Perhaps there's a featurette or like or like a novelization. Just because the fact that Arnold yes. you know, was willing to put a gun in his in his mouth yeah. makes you think he's exhausted all options. And, I, and Arnold seems like the well, guy, like based on his ability to fight the devil, that like he would have hand to hand killed every single person involved. And that's a movie I would like to see as a, as a as a prequel. They could make a different movie about that. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of Arnold, one last time, there's there's a point where he I thought was probably like the worst, where mm -hmm. I think he's reading something that's like behind the camera, basically. It's when him and uh, and and the chick from the craft are like Christine? looking at the books. And yeah, Christine York are looking at the books and stuff, and he says like the Masonic order that comes back for thousand, and he's like he's doing like the exposition. This amulet is from a Masonic order and a former sub-herald of the Vatican Knights. And he has to say all these weird words, and it's a gross scene, and I was like, okay, now you're Arnold Schwarzenegger again here, <laughs> is like the peak of it. But otherwise, I you know I thought he was really good. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was a weird thing having Christine be naked for a tiny bit. I was like, that didn't do anything for the movie. Was Wasn't just, she naked? She like, so like for like a few frames, she like pulls her shirt off just to go into the shower. Oh. And I was like, that's a weird thing. Cause she's like an actress. I like, know. I was like, do you, do you do see that? it? Yeah. Oh, weird. Okay. I didn't notice that. And I was like, that's for like no reason. Yeah. Oh. Cause they work her into that weird sex scene where it's the, is that your daughter? That's, that yeah, that's like the society that, sex scene. Yeah, where they're like melding into each other. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. You know. I, I, I like, yeah, that, that, the, how, he, how that pitches that. Ah, is this your daughter? Is this your daughter? Yes. That's your wife? This is your wife? Yes. Oh. It cuts to like sexy music <laughs> playing <laughs> and him like fucking them both. He's, he, he's having a lot of fun. He only gets a certain amount of time on earth and he's making the most yeah. of it. I appreciate that. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like he should have won really easily. <laughs> just, like just just by having the plant of the mom is is already in your corner, yeah. like you'd think you could be like, okay, uh, we have a, a limitless supply of these, uh, you know, snake cutting like like uh, Udo Kiers, yeah. an army of Udo Kiers so, like, here ready to go. Why why do we yeah. have her in the city? Let's 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 like come down to the the fact that we're getting into the new year. Why don't we bring her out into the countryside in this fortified yeah. location where I just have her right here? And I'll just pop right there and I'll I'll fly in with my boy here because. He does have a hard on for like like you know being burned there, and I was, I was like, okay, he's been sending dreams of, of that particular guy to her, so he he had to take that mm. guy, and that's why he preserves that body for as long as he can. I, mm. I think it's an interesting. It's I guess kind of flattering that the devil wants your body. Yeah. That, I wonder if he was a really terrible person, and that's what made him attractive, or if he's like, I like how you look in black, yeah, Mr. Johnny Cash. A man's body was also chosen, just like yours. They say investment banker, but mm. he's just he's just credited as the man. I think there's no name given to that character, really? which is awesome. Yeah. I wonder if he was even an investment banker in his previous life, or if that's just what the devil said he was because he had to get those people. Oh, I thought somebody else says it. But do, yeah. do they? Okay. Uh, so, you know, someone's like, why do they need our protection? Is the bankers? Oh, Something but like but that, that would have been Arnold under the guise of being hired for oh, that after guy. After he is the yeah. devil, yeah. He's yeah. already the devil at that right. point. So I wonder, if, like. Is that just what the is, like? The, is the devil think that's he, the most devilish job? That's the so, worst job. You know, he was something to get in, you know into the fancy restaurant. I know that much. Sure, sure. What about the end of days? Think of it as a new beginning, a change of management, and you'll be right there with me on the ground floor. It will be so cool. You quiet boy compared to me. <laughs> you, well, think like, we, we didn't... you think you're bad? I'm bad. But that that that's why I say like I would have liked more of his background. We don't we don't see him really doing bad things. So for him to yeah. say I'm worse than the devil, I would have liked to have seen him violently torture and kill all those people. <laughs> something. I, I I guess. Right. A little something. I think he just means like he's bad. Like <laughs> who's bad? Yeah. Bad to the bone. I'd rather have my Glock nine millimeter than your faith. Yeah. I mean, this is the story of a man who lost his faith. Who is like whatever, right? You could word this out. I I don't think an actual Christian movie person would have the guts to do all this stuff in like a movie, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But I think like yeah, like God had to kill his family so that he'd be there at the right time to fuck up Gabriel Burns' perfectly you know you know laid plans, and then eventually end up saving the day. 
and mm. uh, redeeming himself and, and, and avoiding his path to hell. Maybe he was bad. I don't know. Right? The devil it's does say that nice, great thing uh, with thing. like, like, oh, the God's at this great con where whenever he's not there, oh, it's part of his plan or he's there. <laughs> like, and I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, you know, you can, you no. can twist that shit any way you like. He is the biggest underachiever of all time. He just did a good publicist, that's all. Something good happens, it's his will. Something bad happens, he moves in mysterious ways. That's, uh, Al Pacino touches on that too in Devil's Advocate. Mm -hmm. He's an absentee landlord. He does all these things, I'm like, oh, these are great. Like, like, like Gabriel Byrne trying to convince him of like, listen, this shit sucks. You know it sucks. Hang out with me. Like his whole like temptation and everything. And then how he just leaves when, when it doesn't work and sends in Kevin Pollock. Mm -hmm. I think it's really good. Cause like in my head, I had forgotten all that. So I'm like, oh, does Kevin Pollock like morph into Gabriel Byrne? That sucks. And it's like, no. Like, like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know how ballsy you have to be to throw the devil from a third story window? Dude, that, that's more good acting when he's like, okay, okay, like, like, give me your hand, and then goes, no, fuck you, and throws him over the thing. It's great, yeah. <laughs> how, that, that scene's great where he's like grabbing onto glass oh, and shit, like you can feel it. I know, something about that where something happens with the, because then the he's palms. like, he's like doing something and you can see the cuts and he's like doing the shaky like yeah. water, like, ah, it hurts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah they're, yeah, they're not very consistent with the pain thing. He's fine later on. Based on how, yeah. how he gets jolly stomped by like 80 people, yes, he okay. should not be able to walk. I forgot to say this before, but I thought of it now while we're talking, is earlier there's a, there's a chick that has big stigmatas and bleeding holes. Yes, and yes. Stuff. And then Arnold even says, she's healed. And then he goes, that's the power of faith. So like, you know, he ends up back in that same church basement. Yeah, yeah. So, so the power of faith could have healed him from all of his, and like they're stitching him up. So maybe it we did can seem like something. when he was getting up, they were all concerned, like you shouldn't, you shouldn't yeah. be standing. Like, like there wasn't a lot of faith. <laughs> no, exactly, exactly. So like that's a place rather than like glowing anime symbols, you could have mm -hmm. worked in something inexplainable there. Where like, like wait, no, I was really fucked up. It's like I don't know, man. And you have a weird like, oh, okay. there would be like an ancient yeah. Chinese master who'd be like, you know, you have the power of Christ on your side when you can wear the thorny crown and you do not bleed. <laughs> I just thought of that. Is that from something? No, I just thought oh, of Oh, God. I okay. think that'd be good. <laughs> Cut that part out. Save what? it for later. <laughs> That's how you know you're healing instantly. Okay. I was going to say, I, I, I don't follow this at all. I'm not sure what to say. It's, it's, really, Cut. it's really deep Cut in it. Christian. Cut you it. can't handle it. He hasn't read the books. He hasn't read the good book. What are you doing? Don't stop! <laughs> Would you like to do a little ending just in case none of those things work as endings? Sure. There you go. <laughs> why Why lead me on like that? <laughs> I, I, I had to reset myself to be, to be ready to talk. <laughs> all right, all right, ready? <sighs> the end. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. If you want to support the show, head over to cannibalvideo.com, pick up some merch. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, that's alright. Yeah, that's something. Whatever. Fuck these motherfuckers. Quiet, boy! You're in touch with your anger. I really like that. Cannibal video has everything.